So I have been using these brushes uh, for many years and these are an absolutely amazing brush. But uh, from last couple of years, uh, I have sifted, uh, you know, sifted into these brushes. Okay. So, so a couple of years back, I came across about this brush and I just thought that, uh, let me try this. So, basically these brushes are a calligraphy brush this is not meant for watercolor at all uh, these these brushes are basically a chinese or japanese calligraphy traditional calligraphy brushes so they make a, a very wonderful uh, calligraphy you know uh, uh, for that purpose but uh, I just thought that uh, can we do this uh, for watercolor also so I got a one from my local art store here and uh, I just tried uh, just a kind of uh, experiment uh, and uh, that was amazing when I saw the quality and uh, the the volume of the water it holds uh, it's uh, phenomenal so I really enjoy uh, and from that time I have been using the various sizes of uh, these buses. So, if I talk about uh, uh, why I'm using these buses, so the reason is very clear. Basically, the organic one. So the uh, the hair of these buses are basically uh, the goat hair. So it holds a lot of water, actually. You know, if I'll just show you the amount of water it holds, can you see that? So it holds a lot of water into it. Okay, so if you're going to make your wash, so having this brush is, uh, is an amazing experience. So another good reason why I'm using this brush is uh, it's very cost effective. Uh, so if you compare to any established brand, uh, this is going to be a way way cheaper uh, than those brushes so I think I think uh, that is the another the reason why uh, this brush has motivated me uh, to use this for my watercolor art and if you look at this point of this brush uh, which is very important for watercolor any brush uh, in a, for watercolor uh, the point of this brush is amazing can you see this point this this is amazing okay uh, so uh, almost every brush has a, a really good point which uh, help you to make uh, a sharp line even the thin line you can just make with this uh, uh, brushes it comes with a various size uh, I really don't know the specific size even if I can't tell you the size of uh, of those these brushes uh, because uh, I, do, I cannot read uh, Chinese uh, but yeah so these are the quality uh, I'm getting from these brushes. So the only drawback I see from uh, these brushes are uh, actually the the hair after some time uh, the hair will start coming out can you see that it comes out very easily can you see that okay so that's the uh, the only the the drawback i see in this brush otherwise uh, it's a fantastic uh, these brushes can be used for let's say for one year and uh, you can just throw it out and uh, you can go for another another one i mean for the beginner this is perfect i believe okay so once you are going to the another level from uh, probably in uh, advanced learning uh, then uh, you might uh, consider uh, you know looking for uh, some good established uh, watercolor brush brand but uh, this is very cost effective and i would uh, suggest and uh, in fact uh, this works for me so i've been using this so you can check my uh, the link in the video descriptions i have given the link uh, the affiliate link uh, you can buy from uh, these brushes from there 
work so you really uh, wanted to see uh, how does it actually works right so let me show you let it, let me give you a one small demo for how much water actually and how much uh, color uh, you know it can hold so that gives you a very clear picture right so so now i'm just using this uh, one of the the biggest mop i have so it can have uh, if uh, you can see this here so i'm just taking this ultramarine blue and just see the volume okay hold on i'll just show you this so the volume it's too much see the the amount of uh, water this bus can hold see it's uh, so much of water and it can just easily you can just pick all of those you know uh, the the color and you just you know now you see this how much water amazing i mean still it has a a water in it still and uh, if i'll just just see this how much water it is it's, it's beautiful <laughs> i mean it's a, it is never ending like and it's a, it holds a lot of really really a lot of water so this is the one of the biggest advantage of having uh you know the such big mop brush okay so now see oh god so too much of water <laughs> and it never ends that's the uh, that's the beauty like it never ends <laughs> it's uh, still it has a lot of water in it a lot of water See, I'm just keep on going, keep on going, and after a certain time, now it's getting dried. Okay, so so much of water, so much of water. Uh, so, and that is uh, why I love this brush. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, and uh, if you talk about uh, uh, the 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 various size of this uh, brush, now you can just see this. Uh, I mean. Uh, if I'll take this brush now, I've just taken this and uh, suppose I'm mixing this two color and see what is the point I'm getting. Look at the point. Okay, so this is so much of important. Why it is so important? Because if you want to make an, a, a very thin line, you can make that all of those pretty easy easily okay so for that purpose this is absolutely you know stunning this is beautiful so another interesting fact about this brush is can you see this brush now <laughs> uh, now it's become a flat right it's no more pointed it's a flat okay you can take the color this way and it's flat and now you can just make this as a flat like this and that is why this is uh, been used for the calligraphy okay because the behavior of this brush is such that okay uh, so now see this is the can you see this now okay so this is the flat now if I want to make the point I can just take this and roll it I can just roll it in this way and see what happens you're getting point <laughs> so yeah so these are the very interesting the fact uh, about uh, this bus uh, so yeah and uh, that is the reason i have been using a many watercolor uh, using these brushes these are absolutely i mean fantastic 
for any watercolor artist. So I hope uh, uh, today it got clear that uh, what brush because I have been using this brush from long time and a lot of people are talking about this brush and asking me every single video I upload brush you are using uh, where I get it uh, how I'll get it what this is called and all of that okay yeah of course this curiosity will be there because that's a kind of uh, uh, absolutely the very <laughs> innovative uh, the brush so I hope you got that what I've been using but uh, let me tell you that uh, this is not the ending there are several other uh, brushes in the market uh, very established brand but if, if you want to go ahead uh, with your you know the watercolor journey like in a making when you are reaching to the level where you want to go in a next level of your watercolor career then definitely you can just check out uh, these good brand uh, like an escoda uh, and uh, several other uh, brands so I will just give you the link of those brushes as well some of the very prominent Indian uh, you know brand also so just check that uh, there's a lot of brush there having a different quality in it but uh, yeah um, all of those brushes having uh, some quality some point uh, where you disappoint with the, some of the specific brush uh, but yeah it's, it's, it's like a kind of experiment uh, which you'll have to do every time right so that's about guys uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed this video if you have not subscribed my channel then please subscribe my channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so the bell icon gives you a notification whenever i upload any new video you can also follow me in Instagram where I, you know, I upload in a daily basis uh, what's uh, going on, what I'm painting and all of those information. So have a great year ahead and I look forward for another video very soon. Thank you guys.